Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. The newly updated close range meta here in Warzone is honestly extremely, extremely competitive. We've got some really solid MW3 options, some really solid MW2 options as well. And especially now that the Akimbo snake shots have been removed, things are looking a lot more uh, comfortable and open here. And so today we are going through the best weapons and best loadouts you want to be using for the close range meta. As we get into them, if you enjoy the video or if you find it helpful, do me a favor, drop a like on it it would be really appreciated and if you guys are new here or you simply have not subscribed yet let's change that because every single day i got you covered with news updates patch notes meta breakdowns it's all right here so feel free to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date so initially here i want to focus on sniper support a little bit at least when it comes to aggressive rifles because i would consider this a part of the close range meta and there's actually some really competitive choices for sniper support as it stands the first of which is the chimera obviously from mw2 this was a great sniper support all throughout warzone to, still a really good sniper support now as well it's got a fast ttk pretty low recoil and generally easy to use and definitely feels more like an ar smg style hybrid weapon than being just like a slow ar like a lot of the other choices so initially here for my optic i'm going for the mk3 reflector that said if you like something like the nidar or you know a slate reflector maybe even a 2.5 times scope more go for whatever you think you're going to be the most accurate and what you're the most comfortable with here as always that's the same deal on like every single gun optics are always preferable there are some ones that are really good but really just comes down to your level of comfortability 45 round extended mag obviously you're going to be wanting to run this for trios quads you're just not going to want to be reloading in the middle of a gunfight constantly so that's a no-brainer there i've got the angled under barrel on here this helps out with horizontal control uh, it does hurt your vertical a little bit but for sniper support engagements losing a little bit of vertical control is not a huge deal especially when the chimera is relatively easy to use and getting rid of that horizontal bounce makes it even easier obviously we got the vorpal barrel on here helps out with just general damage range and then also some movement again it hurts the re coil a little bit we've already gained some of that back though so just makes this a tad bit more aggressive and then i like to go for the shadow strike suppressor this is just a suppressor no pros no cons other than keeping you off the map if you're okay with being a tad bit slower you could upgrade to something like the spirit fire but your ads is not going to be as snappy or aggressive so for some potential really close range fights that could be a bit of a hindrance that more so depends on where you envision yourself fighting the most with this as sniper support though but to me shadow strike suppressor worked just fine and this is honestly a really really fun sniper support it gets the job done just fine next up we've got another mw2 gun and this time it's the fr advancer the sort of ffar from moss hybrid from mw2 just like it was in warzone 2 it is here great sniper support as well fast fire rate decent mobility as well so you can really fry with this thing it's one of the better options for the close to mid range for the rifle category again mk3 reflector here the irons honestly aren't atrocious so if you wanted to drop an optic maybe go for a laser for a snappier ads or you know a stock for better mobility or a rear grip for better control you could absolutely do so for me though i'm the most accurate when i use something like an elo site the fire rate here is pretty fast so while 60 is going to be slower than 45 for an extended mag i feel like it's kind of necessary especially for trios and quads if you're missing a couple of shots in there you're going to want that extra ammo in there for sure i got the brew and heavy support on here this helps out primarily with horizontal control a little bit of vertical but nothing too crazy but it doesn't kill your ads speed which is nice to see so you're getting some decent control out of that i got the spirit fire suppressor in this case the ads penalty is not as bad here as it was on the chimera it's interesting that it changes gun to gun uh but obviously better control range and velocity there just makes it more efficient as a sniper support and then the fr-435 barrel helps out with velocity and control it does hurt the range a tad bit but we've just gained that back so it kind of offsets a little bit there hurts the movement a tad bit but not a huge deal at the end of the day really fun sniper support build also relatively easy to use now definitely my favorite sniper support option is the ram 7 not only because it just is a ton of fun to throw back to warzone one with how good the ram was but it's also like statistically the best rifle in the first 30 or 40 meters so prime sniper support territory this thing literally fries this setup here really is built to be like a main setup for an assault rifle but the ram is just nice and aggressive so this is actually really really good for the sniper support areas in this case i got the 2.5 times eagle eye but if you wanted to drop down to an mk3 reflector or a slate feel free to do so that'll be totally fine here as well again 
kind of a faster fire rate on the Rams. So 60, while it is a little bit slower, is nice to have as that safety net. You could get away with 40, though, if you are a really accurate player for sure. Again, I've got the Bruin heavy support on here. It's doing 13% to the horizontal control this time, which is very convenient, especially on the Ram, which has a decent amount of horizontal bounce. I've got the core mark barrel, better range, velocity, and control extends that lethality in the mid range there. And then to me, accuracy over everything here. I'd love to stay off the radar with a suppressor, but the recoil is still definitely noticeable on the Ram. And to me, the Sky Fury Compensator helps out a ton with keeping this thing straight shooting. And so you're going to be way more accurate with this on there, despite the fact that you will show up as a red dot. So just keep that in mind. If you really want to drop down to a suppressor, just note you're not going to have as good of control on there. But regardless of which way you want to go there, the Ram is a beast. For sniper support then of course we shift focus into some of the smgs and there's a lot of really competitive ones here for the close range meta starting first with the base striker this thing is low recoil great mobility and a really good ttk as well in its first couple of damage ranges so like within 30 meters you're gonna be set with this thing it's very very fun to use initially i got the light stock on here helps out with just general movement speed and sprint speed hurts the control a bit but like i said this thing's super easy to use i got the 48 round extended mag here seems totally sufficient with this fire rate as opposed to 60 which is a little bit slower so you can absolutely get by with that seven milliwatt laser faster ads and sprint to fire you'll see this on a lot of smgs here i like the msp hand stop helps out a little bit with vertical control hurts your horizontal a tad bit but nothing too crazy and you also get better movement speed out of this as well so control and movement speed is a nice double pro to have there then lastly shadow strike suppressor no recoil changes no ads changes just keeping me off the map this thing's easy enough to use that you don't have to worry about anything else there definitely a very fun smg build and super reliable now the rival is also another great smg choice this thing's got insanely good mobility so you're gonna fly and fry with this thing with its really competitive ttk as well also relatively easy to use all things considered so again i do have the shadow strike suppressor for that reason i don't really need any extra control out of this and it's nice to stay off the map when i can i've got the edge bw4 hand stop in this case no control benefits whatsoever this is all mobility based movement speed ads movement speed ads speed sprint to fire so that's just going to make this thing even more aggressive i do go for the 40 round mag over the 50 here because 50 is just going to slow you down a ton more which to me was just a little bit too obnoxious in close range fights so 40 was totally sufficient there i've got the vice assault rear grip just straight up better control it only hurts your sway which is not relevant in smg based fights really and then lastly we got the tactical stock this helps out with movement speed yet again so we're snappy we're aggressive it's easy to use like i said and it's got the fast ttk it's checking all the right boxes and we just talked about the base striker it just so happens the striker nine is also a really good smg choice as well this one is more of like a mid-range based smg maybe a sniper support style smg its first 10 meters aren't as fast in terms of ttk as some of the other options but it's low recoil and in the mid-range it really does thrive unfortunately here the irons are not as good as the base striker in my opinion so i go for an elo site and then for mid-range it just makes it a little bit more accurate for me uh 40 round extended here yet again same reason as over on the rival in the previous choices as well we've got the choke angled grip in this case hurts your vertical just a little bit but then gives you horizontal control and some decent base movement speed as well which is nice to see shadow strike suppressor yet again no changes there and then i go for the long barrel helps out with velocity and range extends that mid-range a decent amount so for sniper support style gameplay it becomes really really effective there as an smg which is nice to see so you're getting the good range there but also the great mobility of a base sub now probably my favorite smg at the moment is the wasp swarm this thing's got got a crazy fire rate kind of reminds me of the mac 10 from back in the day uh with that fast movement fast fire rate kind of obnoxious recoil but it just fries up close and it's so fun to use because of that so initially here i got the heavy stock this helps out a lot with control and quite frankly doesn't hurt your mobility all that much your sprint to fire is about six percent your ads speed is about two percent not a huge deal for getting 20 plus percent of control across the board 50 round extended mag here definitely necessary with this fire rate there is a 100 round option i wouldn't advise it but if you're looking for a fun time that could be really funny to mess around with for sure i got the dr6 hand stop on here no control benefits just all mobility based here so movement speed ads speed sprint to fire ads so on and so forth i've got the reckless long barrel way better range of velocity but also some decent control as well and then lastly here i go for the compensator the lacerta compensator for even better control just because i am using iron sights here i want this to shake as little as possible and with all these attachments stacked it's actually kind of a laser beam up close it doesn't really bounce left to right or anything super easy to stay on target 
and it's still snappy and aggressive regardless of some of the slowdowns here now mw3 subs are not the only viable options right now we do have a couple of mw2 smgs that are surprisingly good including the iso 9 millimeter here this thing's got great mobility as well and its close range ttk is super super competitive so initially here unfortunately i'm just not a fan of the iron sights and how the isos behave in this game as opposed to straight up warzone 2 i feel like the bounce is maybe a little bit more noticeable here which is a bit unfortunate so i do go for the slate reflector if you wanted to change over to elo whatever the case may be absolutely feel free to do so seven milliwatt laser for that snappier ads and sprint to fire base shadow strike suppressor just simply keeping me off the map the 50 round drum is the max here you absolutely want to be running this with this fire rate and lastly i got the sheer rear grip for a better ads the sprint to fire so we are snappy we are fast we're aggressive and this thing melts up close and then the iso 45 is also a really good choice uh, again it's got kind of the obnoxious iron sight recoil in this game for whatever reason but it's close range tck is very very impressive as well i'm sure we are plenty familiar with this thing if you use it a lot throughout warzone 2 so initially here i'm not going for a compensator or anything no muzzle uh, at all so no suppressor no compensator there instead seven milliwatt laser snappier ads and sprint to fire 45 round extendamag your basic option there again slate reflector unfortunately now if you're super comfortable with the iron sights you know drop this throw on a shadow strike throw on a compensator if you need absolutely feel free to do that but for me this is where i'm the most accurate and where i'm going to get the kills uh, more consistently uh, i also got the sheer rear grip here as well same deals over on the iso 9 then i go for the cheetah stock better mobility across the board with sprint speed uh strafe speed ads speed nice to have on there for sure so a bit of a different build from what we've been running for the past year but it still works really really well also post update when they went through and you know adjusted a lot of the akimbo pistols the core 45 now just as a standalone pistol with the conversion kit kind of crazy for close range it basically is like a two round burst style pistol now you shoot once uh when you pull your trigger then when you let off the trigger it shoots again this thing can fry up close so on here i got the sonic suppressor extends the range and velo a little bit the diod laser for a faster ads i didn't love the iron sight when i was spamming it so i went with the elo sight the mk3 reflector that said if you're okay with the irons i'd go for like a mobility based hand stop I also got the 30 round mag on there then of course as mentioned that conversion kit which just makes it so so busted and then lastly here i can't talk about the close range meta and not bring up the lockwood 680 previously the haymaker dominated this spot but they really seriously nerfed that thing they didn't touch the lockwood 680 though so this is an ads style build and when you got your sights up in the close range this thing brings the damage it brings the power and can be incredibly obnoxious to run into because it is very very good so initially here i've got the bryson choke it's that tighter pellet spread basically i'm not hip firing a ton or at least i'm trying not to but this does help out with that if you find yourself in that situation dr6 hand stop all mobility based there you don't need added control on a uh, shotgun obviously the hammer forge long barrel better range better velocity extending that potential you know two to three shot knock there is pretty clutch seven milliwatt laser since i am adsing as mentioned this helps make that a little bit faster then the sawed off mod better sprint to fire better ads speed movement speed all around makes it a lot more aggressive so you can run and gun with this thing push buildings and just wipe squads back to back to back this thing is a ton of fun to use for a shotgun build and that being said that's how the main close range meta plays right now a lot of really good options super competitive category in general and there honestly are quite a few other options sort of honorable mentions that we could have brought up in this list too a lot of the smgs right now are like right there with one another which is definitely nice to see but that is going to wrap things up if you enjoyed the video do me a favor drop a like on it and if you're new here feel free to hit that subscribe button on your way out to stay up to date with all things going on in cod but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and i'll catch you later Peace out.